Appomattox River Company. We just got the Slayers in. Slayer! So, we're going to kind of go over a few of the, uh, the things that make the Slayer unique. Um, Native did a automatic to the people campaign where they solicited a sort of customer suggestion about what they should do with this boat. And they followed a lot of those suggestions. Pretty cool. Uh, one of the first things you see is it's got a pretty comfy seat. The nice thing about the seat is it's a high low seat. So here's the low position. You can kick it up to the high position. So you can get a little sight cast in. It's a little easier to stand up and uh, fish while standing as well. Low position. We also have this padded track down here on the base. You have a little padded track even in the uh, cup holder here so that you're when you set that preferred beverage down, it doesn't make a lot of noise that's your artificial bed. Also have a recessed mold here to hold your your uh, tackle box. You can bungee it down. Uh, what's bungeed down currently is the wheel that you can mount to the back of the Slayer so it's easier to transport from your car to the water. Also have here a enclosed compartment box that you can get into to drop in batteries for your transducer and your fish finders that you want to mount up here as well. So it's a safe compartment for battery powered uh, enhancements. They also went with an open trunk in the front as opposed to a hatch. The open trunk is kind of ideal. It fits the like cooler bag um, setup that you can drop in here underneath the bungee. There's also scupper holes in this trunk, op this open trunk, so that you don't get a bunch of standing water in the trunk, which is nice. In the back, we have another small hatch with a bucket in the back. But behind the seat, there's also a little plano box holders on each side of the seat. So you can stash little tackle boxes there as well. And then one of the other nice things is they they molded in a little recess for a live bait bucket. If you want to keep your live bait bucket back here, which a lot of folks do. They also have an extended square mold for your live well or uh, your milk crate in the back, which is kind of cool. Another big storage area in the back as well. And then the Yak Attack Ready slide tracks here. So you can mount anything you want up here, up here. Pretty sweet. You we'll put a little padded uh, grip on the, uh, the sides of the, the, the track so that you have a little padded grip for your, your handles. It's also padded, padded up here in the front as well. Pretty nice, makes it ease of carrying. The boat itself is designed pretty wide, you know, for, for uh, a boat that looks this slim, it's got a wide base for stability so that you can stand up. But then it also constricts down fairly narrow at the bow and stern to give it some better tracking and a little bit more speed um, as well. So all around, the native watercraft slayer is a pretty banging boat. This is the 14 and a half. There's a 12 version as well. Uh, I think this is a hot ticket. Check it out. And what else is more fun to say than Slayer? <laughs> 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 you don't have anything to add? I got nothing. Come on. That's a great. Let it go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Slayer! <laughs> hey, Sarah. Have you heard about the new boats that we got in today? <laughs> God, you missed that name, you're sitting back up. <laughs> God, have you seen the new boat we got in? It's over there at Christmas Boy. Yeah, it's the Slayer. <laughs> Tom, are yeah. you delivering a Slayer? I am, I'm delivering a Slayer. Slayer! Oh, do you hear we got some new boats in? Yeah, the Slayer. Slayer! <laughs> Get back to work.